Hello everyone, now in this video, I will let you know how to make your own internet connected scrolling display whose message you can update using your Google Voice Assistant from anywhere in this world. Just like this. Okay Google, message on the board IOT. So watch this video till the end and I will let you know how to make it. And yes, I'm also going to give away some of these PCBs used in the project. And I'm also going to sell this project in one auction which is soon going to held on my channel. So stay tuned with this video and let's get started. So for making this project, you require one ESP266 Twilly development board or a Node MCU board. Now this time, I used this board with CH340 driver IC, which is a bit different from which I have used earlier. But no worry, this project will work with both the Node MCU boards. Then I have used this matrix display, which I have ordered from Amazon, whose link is available in the description of this video. Then I used this female to female connected wires. And in the end, I used this custom made PCB which I ordered from jlcpcb.com. First, I designed the PCB in the EasyADA website, then saved it in a Gerber file format. Then from the jlcpcb website, I ordered this PCB by uploading the Gerber file. Now this time, I selected the red masking for the PCB. Likewise, you can also order your own PCB at cheap price from jlcpcb.com. So try out JLC PCB once. So now the hardware connections of all the components is something like this. I have cut down these wires into small units and stripped down each unit as I need to shoulder it on the PCB so that they can easily get connected to this display unit. One by one, I shouldered all the wires on the PCB after shouldering all the wires, it will look something like this. Now the PCB can easily get connected with the display unit. Then I have connected a Node MCU board above it and shouldered all the pins. After that, it will look something like this. Now on this, I have used this Adafruit MQTT broker and IFTTT app to make it work from anywhere in the world. So first, let's just see how to configure both this. First of all, go to io.adafruit.com and make an account here. After making an account, log into that account. Here, you will find this default dashboard as welcome dashboard. Now go inside the dashboard. Now click on this plus sign and select the text block. Now enter the feed name here as message. Write all the characters in the small letters. Click on create, then select this feed. Now click on next step. Now here, the font size, you can select whatever you want. I have selected the large fonts. Then click on create block button. This is all you need to do on the Adafruit side. Now to change the message with the Google Assistant, you'll need to download and install this app on your phone called IFTTT. Open it and go to sign in with Google. Make sure you sign in with the same Google account from which you are going to use the Google Assistant. After that, go to the last section, My Applets. Click on this plus sign to create new applet. Click on this and select Google Assistant. Now click on Say a Phrase with Text Ingredient. Click on Connect. Select the Google account whose Google Assistant you are going to use on your phone. Click on allow. Now here we need to give the trigger commands to send message to the Adafruit broker. For example, I will write message on the board and then this dollar sign which represents our text to be displayed on the screen. Likewise, we can give other trigger commands like print on the board and the dollar sign 
etc. You can give your own custom trigger sentences but make sure to add this dollar sign in the end. Then in the response section we will write ok updating the display with the message and again the dollar sign. Click on this create trigger button. Now click on that. Now here we will select the Adafruit. Click on send data to Adafruit IO. Click on connect. Log into your Adafruit account and click on this authorize button. Select message in the feed name. Now click on this add ingredient button and select the text field. Click on create action. Now click on finish. So this is all you need to do on the server side. Now let's zoom on to the last section which is coding. In the code you just need to change few things. First of all you need to provide the SSID name and password of your router or mobile hotspot. You can add multiple SSID name and password so that if any one of the given router is available it will automatically get connected to that router. Then you need to provide your Adafruit account's credentials. Now for that go to io.adafruit.com Go inside the dashboard we have just created. Click on this key icon. Now copy this username and paste it in AIO underscore username. And copy this active key and paste it in AIO underscore key. That's it. Now just select the board. Select the port. And yes if the port is not visible just disconnect the USB cable Press and hold this flash button of the board then connect the USB cable and now release this flash button and then you will observe the port is visible on the, the port section. Select the port and click on the upload button. Okay so the code is uploaded. Now it will show the default message which is ask Google assistant to change the message. Until and unless we change the message onto the Adafruit MQTT broker using our Google Assistant. Now this time I got my project covered by a laser cut box made from MDF sheet. I got this cutouts and attached all the pieces one by one and in the end I glued the edges to make the joints solid. After assembling the box our project looks something like this. Do let me know how this project looks like in the comments below. Now let's just see this project in action. Okay Google, message on the board, explore, learn, share. Okay, updating the display with a message, explore, learn, share. So yeah, this was my project on Google Assistant controlled display. I hope you like this project and if yes then do give a big thumbs up to this video. Talking about the auction of this project, if you people are interested in buying this project then do let me know in the comments below this video. And if I get at least 10 comments regarding buying this project then only I will initiate the auction. The auction will start with the base price of 1100 rupees out of which 700 rupees are of the matrix display and 400 rupees are of the node MCU. So do let me know in the comments below if you are genuinely interested in buying this. And now the giveaway of the PCBs. Now to participate in the giveaway you just need to follow me everywhere on the Facebook, Twitter and Instagram whose links are attached in the description of this video. And after doing that, just comment below this video as task completed. I will select 4 of the random winners of this giveaway. So ending this video here, subscribe my channel if you haven't to learn more awesome projects related to IoT, automation and electronics. So wait for my next project until then explore, learn, share with me Techie SMS. <laughs>